So if I had to pick one piece of equipment that I could not work without, so be it thermal tape, thermal tape, screwdrivers, mats, isopropyl, or go to the bit more advanced section, hacko, microscope, screen, and over in the distance there, on the side there, the grey thing is the soldering station, flux. If I had to pick something that I could not function or would in dramatically increase the difficulty of my day, most jobs, if I removed it, if I didn't have this piece right here, my day would be made considerably harder. So what is it? It's a CPB heat mat. So what it does is essentially, you can see the connection here, but we go off to a heat pad which essentially goes off from here across. Now if I just stand you up for a second, I'll grab a measuring tape. So we are around nine inches or 22 centimeters wide by a usable space of 30 centimeters or one foot. Comes with a fairly universal fitting right here. Uh, I think it takes 110 up to 240 volt, so all regions. The operation of it's very simple. We have power. We're on. So right now it's set to run for 99 minutes. And if I press M, it's set to heat up to 60 degrees. Typically that's too cool for most of the jobs I use. So I would normally run it at 75 degrees and that would usually be used to make the backs of Samsung Galaxy phones tacky, opening up iPads, removing batteries, whatever work. I've very rarely had it on 80 or 99 degrees Celsius. I find that too hot. I can't barely even touch the mat while I'm using it, let alone at 75 degrees. The timer, I've never had a need for that. I've always just had it on. So the amount of run time I've had on these is quite considerable, being it's usually on for nearly the whole work day, so eight hours a day. I, had, I have had one blow up on me. I don't know why it was, but this section here just went bang, shot a spark out the back. So right now I'm on my third heat pad. One of them failed, just died. Another one had sparked, but definitely worthwhile getting. So if we go over to the internet side of things, we can see on the CPB repair website, they're priced at around $80 US. Granted, my mat is actually an older variety of mat, or possibly a knockoff mat. So look at on their site, see very similar stuff. Digital display, which doesn't really need these features. But as, as we look at it, it usually goes up to around 120 degrees Celsius. So if we have a look on old AliExpress, we do see some very similar ones. So, see them on here, 74 to $88, fairly similar in size, one slightly larger. Again, another one, but then there is also something like this, which may actually be handy. I've only come across this just now, but that's, where is it? Two USB ports. I'm thinking that green light. I'm not sure if it's UV light, but even if that's just used for finding dust when putting down a screen protector, that may save a fair bit of time. So I'm actually gonna roll the dice and try one of these. But currently, the CPB repair pad, as you can see, 05 2018, a few years old now, but definitely worthwhile. If you're doing any form of repair, I can highly recommend them. Don't do work without them. Brilliant. Anyway, that will do for today. See ya.